Hello, this is Maria. She's on our data team. Maria has a PhD in astrophysics, so she knows a lot about the universe. And so I wanted to talk to you, Maria, about the thing about moon cycles. Because the thing is that we get a lot of customer support tickets where people say, hey, why don't you introduce moon cycles into the app? And Maria, where are we on that? Well, we wanted to look at that hypothesis and see whether, whether there's any truth in it, whether we can see anything in our data, because, again, we'd like for Clue to be as scientific as possible. And what we did is we looked at the data and we found no, uh, no evidence that menstrual cycles, basically cycles with moon phases, uh, and people often kind of assume or there's a belief that you should menstruate around new moon and ovulate around full moon. Um, and what I think um, has actually happened is that menstrual cycle and moon cycle are, average menstrual cycle and moon cycle are almost of the same length. And I think what has happened is that back in the day people were basically just look in the sky and, and, and see this bright thing and kind of interpret whatever's happening to them at that part of the month um, through what they see in the sky. And so it's not surprising that that, that that belief had that origin, but um, basically when, when we look at our data, we, uh, we see that uh, people menstruate um, basically exactly the same throughout the month. There's nothing special happening mm -hmm. around the new moon. It doesn't mean that the moon doesn't affect us in other ways. That we don't know about, but at least we, we can see this now. Thank you, Maya.